Hello everyone and welcome to our Mothering Sunday online video. My name is Kirsty Williams and I'm, I'm an ALM for Youth and Youth Children's Work worker for the Izmir, uh, Izmir Parish of Kidderminster. Wendy and Jane have asked me to do an online video to go with the Mothering Sunday envelope packs they produced. I've had a little sneak peek they look really good. Thank you, Jane and Wendy, for those. Two th thumbs up. They look great. Did you know Mother in Sunday has a lots of meanings? Mother in Sunday was once known as Refreshment Sunday. It was marked halfway between the start of Lent and the end of Lent. Traditionally, it was the day when girls and boys that were servants went home to see their mothers. They didn't have many days off, so this was a special day. Also, years ago, it was considered to be the day when everyone went back to their mother church. But today, we use this day to celebrate our mothers or people in mothering roles that look after us. We celebrate the difficulties and joys they have looking after us. They do such great things like cooking and cleaning, washing and ironing and just taking care of us, which is ace. The most famous mother in the Bible is Jesus' mother, called Mary. She had to do the cooking and cleaning and just generally looking after Jesus while he was growing up. She even had to give birth in a stable. She must be a tough mother. I have my own mum here to ask her some questions about being a mother. Hello. Hello, mum. Hello, you all right? Yes. Good. So the first question, Mum, is what things did you do being a mum looking after me and Carly? Well, every morning I would have to get you up, mm -hmm. get you washed and dressed, um, take you down and have your breakfast every morning. Mm -hmm. um, and make sure you were both well that's a thank you that's really good and what was it like being a mom looking after me and carly well it could be quite busy at times um but we had some good times together that's good we would do you um can you share us any memories of these good times Yes, we would, um, I used to buy a season ticket to go to the zoo. We would always take a picnic, sandwiches and uh, drinks to share. Um, we used to go on holiday as a family together. Um, we would go on the beach and play on the beach. Um, we, as you've got to be told, we would go camping. Um, you wasn't too keen on helping putting the tent up, but you used to enjoy the camping side of it. Um, yes, so we have some good memories. That's good. Thank you, Mum. I can remember you looking after us mum and thank you for looking after me and Carly you did a fantastic job uh, I can remember the camping in the happy days and the rainy days too I remember you preparing food in the tent I remember every single outing we went on you had to have a picnic and you made a picnic and made sure there was food for everyone you're definitely a good provider thank you mum for looking after us we love you very much I love you too thank you right Can you think of what you, uh, for the people out there, <laughs> what uh, your mum did, did for you? What does she do for you? Maybe you could talk to her like I did with my mum. Or as a child, can you think of anything? Or as a mother, can you think you'd only do, do with your child? Be great if you talked like me and mum did as well. In the Bible, in Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 25-28, it describes a mother. It says she is clothed in strength 
and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future when she speaks. Her words are wise and gives instructions with kindness. She carefully watches everything in the household and suffers nothing in laziness. There are people that care for us and do motherly duties too. They could be teachers, nursery staff, doctors, nurses, foster carers. There could be loads of people. As long as they care for us, they are great. They care for us both physically and mentally. Can you think of any more people that look after you and what they could do to you, for you too? Jane and Wendy have asked me to make a heart hands craft from the booklet. It's very simple. Here is one I made early, earlier. And here's another one I made earlier as well. Can you hold that one up, Mum? There we go. There's our helping hands craft. There we go. So what you need to do, Mum, could you help me with this one? Could you fold this in half like a birthday card, please? Perfect. There it is. So my mum's folded it like a birthday card. And what you have to do now, there's the pencil. Oh, this is what, what you need. You need a pencil. You have your card. You need your pencil. Is, um, right, mum, can you hold your hand like this? So you're going to have to have your hand, hand like this on the card. Making sure like this. There you go. Making sure. The thumb and the pointing finger is connected to the card. Right. There we go. The crease. Where, where the crease is. That's right. Can I draw around your hand, Mum? So you've got to make sure the pointer finger and the thumb is connected. I'm just going to draw around my Mum's hand. Okay. There we go. There we go. Right. So there is my Mum's hand. And you can see it very well with pencil. But that's what it is. And making sure the thumb and the pointing finger is connected to the file. That's very important. Now I'm going to cut it out with the card folded. Quite tricky, so you have to do this very carefully. And there I have my heart hands. So the heart hands symbolises what the caring things we can do with our hands, the amazing things we can do. So you could use it as a Mother's Day card. Like I said earlier, this one says thank you. Oh, we've got this one. Mum, would you like to open this one out? This one says all the things mothers or mothering people could do for you. So cooking and cleaning, making you smile, washing your clothes and things. So that's what that could do as well. Did you know that God is like our mother? In the Bible, in Isaiah chapter 6, verses 13, it says, God said, as a mother comforts her child, 
so what I will comfort you. And I've got something else to do with our hands. Another way for our hands is to pray. And here, Mum, would you like to have this up for me, please? This is called the Finger Prayer. It's in your booklets, but you might have seen it before. It's really cool. So it involves praying with your five fingers. First one we need is your thumb. The thumb means praying for people who are closest to, to us, such as our family. Dear God, thank you for our families. Thank you, that, especially for our mums and those who care for us and do mully duties. They do great things for us. We are truly grateful. Amen. And the next is our pointy finger, this one here. A pointy finger. This finger helps us to think about people who point us in the right direction, such as our mums and dads, vicars, doctors and nurses. Dear God, thank you for our mums, dads, teachers, doctors and nurses and vicars. They do a great thing, showing us the right way to go in life. Without them, we could be totally asked. We are extremely grateful for their help. Amen. The next is our index finger. This is our tallest finger. This symbolises people that look after us in a higher place such as the government. Dear Lord, thank you for the government and the people that look after us, that are higher above our parents. We pray, Lord, that they can make the right decisions to have the right outcomes to look after us as a nation. And we pray that government can look after us in this time of COVID and make sure they make the right decisions to look after everybody and so everyone is happy. Amen. The next is our ring finger, which is this finger here. A ring, wait, no, this one. A ring, ring finger there. Ring finger. This is our weakest finger. With this finger, we think about the people that are poorly and sad and suffering at this time. We, do we know anyone personally to us that that is poorly and need help? Dear God, we pray. For for those known to us at this time. For people that we know that, that need your help. We pray, Lord, you will place your healing hands upon those feeling poorly in both mind and body. We remember those who at uh, Mother's Mothering Sunday do not have a mother and they might be sad. May they feel your love and cl be close to them through this hard time, Lord. Amen. Next is our pinky finger, a little finger. Now this finger is just for us and God. Is there anything that you would like to talk about with God? This is a prayer just for you and God. To ask him something that is important to us. Dear God, thank you for always listening to us. Thank you that you want to know what's important to us. You want to help us when we are stuck. Uh, you want to be our friend. We are truly grateful. Amen. So these are our examples of what to do with finger prayer, but you might have better examples. I hope you enjoy it though. I hope you enjoyed your Mother and Sunday video. And I hope you enjoy your Mother and Sunday. And you are able to pamper and, and uh, celebrate to the people that care and look after you and hope they feel special too. Let us finish with a blessing. Let us go here rejoicing in your goodness of God. May our families be touched by, his, by, by a hand of blessing. May we hold out a helping hand as a sign of God's love to the world. Amen. Amen. Bye everyone. Bye. Happy Mother's Sun Mother in Sunday. Bye.